not really on purpose to be honest but I mean uh, I'm hoping we're all cool with how something like this would work oh, this is the section right before where it started in the yellow book but I mean what do I do when the bases are like when I multiply what do I do add, add the power so what do you end up with six, six. Okay. six. I have two x's times five more x's the seven so far, and then I have like Nick. I owe somebody an X, so now I got six X's, right? I like it. Because what's <laughs> what's this mean? What's the next negative power mean? One over. Good. It means flip. So if it's up top, it goes down. If it's down, it goes up. So I could write this as X squared times X to the fifth over X, and this would still come out the same way. Would it? What's X to the seventh divided by X? Oh, six. X to the 6. I cancel 1x out, so I get 6 left. I like it. Alright, so that's the basic property of if the bases are like and I'm multiplying, I can add the powers. I like it. Okay, cool. Um, this is kind of like the next level up. It's, it's raising stuff with powers to powers. But this first one's kind of nice. I have three of all these, so I have... Uh, 5, 4, 3. Yeah, I got three fives. X3. Three X's. Three Y's. And you just got to know 5 cubed. One, 125. 125, I like it. <clears throat> Man. I like this one. John. This one tripped people up. Uh, how many negative twos are up there in number two? One. There's only one. There's only one negative two. And it's just got to kind of come for the ride. It's negative two times, I don't know yet. So as soon as I figure out what that is, I'm just going to put a negative two in front of it. There's only one of them. Shite. <laughs> now, what do you do with the powers here? Uh, multiply. Yeah, because if I have if I have this, I really want this to make sense. The first time you learned multiplication, you started with like 10 crates, and each crate has two apples. You know, and that's multiplication. So 10 groups of 2 is 20. So the shortcut is just multiply powers when you're raising something with power to a power. So 2 times 10, 20. X 20, Y 30. Y 30. Z 10. Z, I like it, 10. And then you can just take the parentheses away because they don't have to be there. See, what, okay, why wouldn't you just check the two? All right, now watch, you ready? You ready? Yeah. Uh, what do you do there? Distribute. Distribute, totally. Four okay. times X. Four X. Where'd you guys go? Four times three? <laughs> Plus 12. 12. How many terms were there in here? Two. Two. So each term gets a 4. That's how that works. If I had 4 times 3x, how many terms are inside? One. How can the 3 get a 4 and the x get a 4 when there's only one poor little 4 there? So this would be 12x. Yeah. What's up? What's up? It's not. One you ready? Help me out here. How would you do five? If I said oh, no, five no, times no, two, no, you're good. The multiplication like, goes in addition or subtraction sign. Then you distribute. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's two terms instead of just one. Like that. I like it. All right. Is everybody cool with that? Why that negative two works like that? Does everybody see that? Well, I'll take this. Yes. Uh, let me see any more. Number three, and of course, what always saves your ass is order of operations. If you're not sure, you just go back to order of operations. Why? Because it always is true. Always. Uh, so I've got a multiplication of these two things, right? And I've got powers involved. 
And I've got stuff inside parentheses if you want to really get down to that level. Um, can I do anything inside any parentheses? No. No, no good. Any damn thing. So go to the next level. Uh, Powers. So two, two, three. To the third. X six. X to the six. I like it, right? Because you multiply powers when you raise them. By uh, three. Three to the fourth. Fourth and uh, twelve. X, X twelve. X twelve. I like it. Now you can add the What's powers. Up? How come we wouldn't just do like two times two times two? That's what two cubed is. Oh, okay. I just wrote it like that. So. Yeah. Am I gonna get the same answer? Of yes. course, but what I'm trying to get you guys to do is to not do that because if I put if I put and I will if I put an 80th power here, you do not want to write 82s. I don't want to look at that. You shouldn't want to write it, and I don't want to. Look at it. You, you you understand? So I'm trying to show you you don't need to. That means you have three twos. So I'm going to write that. I'm going to write what it means to be three twos. Two cubes. I don't have to write two times two times two. You guys with me? I mean. That's what's going on in the background, but you shouldn't have to write it. So, I mean, you could do this. This is what's going on in the background of this problem. I've got how many of these? Three of them. That's what's going on in the background. And sure enough, 2 times 2 times 2 is 2 cubed, which eight. is 8. Eight. X squared, X squared, X squared is 2, 4, 6. And that's what we got. If we just put... We're not doing the middle step that you have there, the 2 to the 3rd power. We're going to put the 8x. You're fine. She just okay. I was like, I, I, just you, I was like, I didn't do that. You're fine, you're fine. Step. I'm going to show more steps then. Really no, I'm asking. just asking, like, you I say it should work if you want. I'm with you. But 2 cubed, I want you to get to the point where you don't have to write that out for yourself. You should know 2 cubed is 8. I'm going to try to get you guys to realize stuff like what 4 cubed is real quick. What's 4 cubed? Anybody know? Yeah. So 16 times 16. 16 times 4. 64. I like it. So when we get to the point where we start doing something called factor, I'm going to continue to reinforce what the cubes and what the squares are. Because the more you know those numbers, the easier factor will be. Yes. Sorry. And then what's this here? 3 to the 4th? 81. I like it. X12. And now, you can. it's still multiplication. From yeah. the very beginning, it's been multiplication. So 8 times so 81. 648. 648. 648. X, 18. And now i got 18Xs. I like it. Yes, sir? We can't do it like uh, six, uh, 2 times 3. Can't do it. 6 to the power 7. And we just we don't have to write it. 6 to the power 7. Uh, no. Okay. Oh, I see where you're coming up with that. All right. All right. All right. You ready? All right. This is. Uh, I will address your question because it actually happens. Uh, so if I have this, let me just pull out the things that are applicable. All right. Now, now I really want you guys to understand this. How many twos do I have? Three. Three of them. How many threes do I have? Four. Four, Four of them. How many sixes could I make? I really want this to make sense. So I, I have three twos, so I could use three threes to make three sixes. All right, let, me, let me see if you guys remember. If it was two cubed times three cubed, then every two times three is a six. So how many sixes would I end up with? Three. Three of them. But why doesn't that work so nice? Because I have an extra freaking three. I can't have seven sixes. And why can't you add these? Because the bases are not like so the thing about exponents are they keep track of the multiplications I eventually have to do. I actually don't do any multiplying, which is weird. When I have exponents, I'm not multiplying anything. I'm keeping track of how many multiplications I have to do. Does it make sense when I say that? So when I see 2 cubed, they're saying, oh yeah, dude, at some point you've got to multiply 2 by itself 3 times. That's what that means. Right? So if I had 2 cubed times 2 to the 7th, Oh yeah, you got three twos to multiply. Oh yeah, on top of that, I get seven more twos to multiply. So I'm like, oh shit. So then I have ten twos to multiply, right? That's why you add powers when the bases are like, because I'm consolidating the work I've got to do later. Yes, ma'am. Right. 
from the very beginning, whatever this is and whatever this is, what is happening to them, they are being multiplied because they're sitting next to each other. So the parentheses do indicate multiplication. So I could write 4 times 3 like this, or I could write 4 times 3 like this, right? So parentheses do very often represent multiplication, not always. Like this doesn't represent multiplication of anything. It's just like why that person put parentheses there. Is that cool? A little bit? Why does that put it like and the exponent is Yeah, I didn't. 8 times 81 is 648. <laughs> so you can't combine 2 cubed and 3 to the 4th using exponents. You can simplify, you can figure out what number is that and what number is that and then multiply the numbers. That's what we did. I like it. Maybe, maybe, maybe. All right. Uh, all right. One last thing I want to show you. So what do I do in this? This sort of relates to your question. Uh, what would I do? Yeah. What's x to the 7th divided by x cubed? X to the 4th. X to the 4th, I like it. But, like, what's uh, what's 8 divided by 2? 4. 4. These have nothing to do with each other directly now. Do you see that? I really want to make sure you understand. Because 8 and 2, do they have exponent? They have one exponent. So it's not how properties of exponents anymore, because there are no exponents on them. But how can I write 8? How do we just figure out? 8 is 2 uh, to the? 2, 4? Oh, no. 8 is 2 to the? Three. Third power. Three twos make eight when you multiply them. So I can take, I really want you to be with me. This property holds if the stuff is written with exponents. I don't care what the stuff is. If I write it with exponents and the bases are like, that property works. So if I have eight over two, I can write that as two cubed over two. Stay with me now. I subtract the powers, right? So I end up with what? Two squared, squared which is freaking four. I am not saying do this, do 8 divided by 2 this way now. Please understand, I'm not saying that. What I'm trying to show you is if I write numbers as bases to exponents, then the properties of exponents start to work because there are exponents now, right? I really want you guys to understand. So, so people always get worried because, like here, 2x squared, 5x to the fifth. 2 times 5 is 10. But 2 plus 5 is 7, and then people are like, well, why do you do two different things, Jeff? What's up with math? Why am I doing two different things? Because 2 and 5 are not written as things to a power. They're just 2 Numbers. and 5. These are written as things to a power, so they're going to work a little differently. Okay. Or maybe, 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 maybe. maybe. So, you, so what you're saying, okay. Good. So if it has the power, then <coughs> I think I almost got it. I'll keep on trying. Uh, let me see. Here's one more example. Uh, you can do it, Jeff. So, for example, what's 3 times 27? 81. It's 81. I love it. How, what's 27 is 3 to what power? How many 3s do I multiply? Three. Three. 3. And now what can I do with the powers, since there are powers? Subtract. So what? No. So I get 3 to the 4th, four, which is still 81. So this, since it's written in a certain form, I can use the rules for that form. If it isn't written in that form, I don't have to use the rules for that form. I can just multiply. So it is, math isn't doing two different things. It's always doing the same thing. It's just that if it's in a different form, maybe there's a shortcut way to do it. Yeah? So when we multiply... Um, all the numbers, or when we multiply multiple terms with exponents, multiple bases with exponents, we always multiply our, our exponents, right? Yeah, when I'm, when I'm being raised to a power, when I have something with a power being raised to a power, and you multiply the power. So it's the difference between this and this. Here, what do I do? Add, add the powers. Seven. Here, <coughs> multiply. multiply the powers. Because, and, and you've got to understand, we're learning, don't look at that and say, well, that's 2 and 5 is 7. No, what does this mean? I have 5x squares 
multiply. Five groups of two x's is ten x's. So what's the shortcut? Is multiply. Yes. Sir. When do we add them? When you when you when you we add them? When you're multiplying, you add powers. I like it. And if I said simplify, what would you do? I'm kind of liking that because because you don't do shit. Are these are these like terms? No. No. All right. So I really want this to make sense. Here's the example I gave earlier. Can't combine. Exactly. So if I said, uh, you know, what's x plus y? What's x plus y? You can't put this one. You don't make it x, y, because then you suddenly so change it. So x plus x squared is the same thing. I have something plus something else. I can't combine those. But x to the 1 is? Is x. Plus. x squared. Now watch. Help me out here. What's x squared plus x squared? x to the 4. 2x squared. How many? I got 2x oh. squared. Oh. Stay with me now. What's the only time exponents can change? What are the exponents based on? What operation are exponents based on? Multiplication. So what's the only time they can change? When I multiply or divide. Right? What are coefficients based on? Addition. What does 2x mean? x plus x. So when the coefficients change, when I add or subtract. So all I'm doing here is consolidating how many x squares. So I, I love it when I have a problem like this. 7x cubed plus 10x cubed, and somebody tells me I got 17x6s. I'm like, I don't see any freaking x. I don't see any x6s. How do you get 17 of it? Right? That is deity level shit. <laughs> Bam! No, no, I can't do that. Right? So when you add, don't change the exponent. Yeah, so, so I have 7 of these plus 10 of these is how many of these? Like 17. 17 of these. 17x cubed. So the only time exponents will change, please let this make sense, exponents are based on multiplication. They can only change then when you do that, because that's what they're based on. Addition and subtraction changes coefficients. I'm just consolidating how much stuff. So if I do table plus table, I don't get table squared. Sure. <laughs> what? Table. No, I get two tables. Coefficients are changed when I add subtract. Exponents are only changed when I multiply divide because that's what they're based on. I like it, I like it. This is a really simple mistake because your brain is like, you know, it sees this and it says, all right, two and two is four. What do you want from me? But no, one and one is two. That's really what's going to make two. Right, there. One and one is two. You got two x squares. All right, let's see. I'm sorry. We're doing okay. This is good, though. This is the kind of stuff I need from you. I mean, hopefully I made it so that you feel free to ask these things. I think that when you said uh, that exponents don't change, only the coefficients when you add or subtract, they only change when you multiply or divide. That would have, maybe you should have said that, like, when you said it, because it just doesn't always play. I got you. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, 2, negative 2. Yeah, so I got negative 2 squared. Square. Uh, m squared. And n, 8. Eight. So negative two squared is four. 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 I like it. And I wish I would say everything I should say. No, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, no, you're right though. I mean, uh, sometimes I forget. Um, now this one, some people <coughs> had some trouble, but what do I do with that four? Uh, one four. Distribute. So it'll be one to one the fourth. And three, four. three to the fourth. What is one to the fourth? One. 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 What's one. three to the fourth? Three. One. Yeah, we've one. seen that before. Okay. If you do one third times one third times one third times one third, which is what that says, you would get one over a one. But please, you're not again. Don't do that. Just realize that's what that means. How are we doing so far? Is that cool? Good. Uh, so this one works exactly the same way. It's just more stuff inside. Five. X to the 20th, because you multiply powers here, over negative 3 to the 4th. Y to the 12th, I like. And negative 3 to the 4th, we've seen that a few times already, so that's... Yeah, why is it positive? Because it's 2 negatives times 2 positives. 2 negatives, 2 negatives, so 
any even number of negatives will cancel each other out. They all kill each other. These four pair off and they kill each other. Ah, oh, they're gone. <laughs> so, for example, what is negative one to the three thousand and one power? Oh my God! Oh come on! Negative, negative one. one. <laughs> Why is it that it's got to be one or negative one? That's going to be the answer. And since there's an odd number of negatives, yeah. everybody pairs off except that one guy that's behind the rock. He's like, oh shit. Okay. And then he's still there. He's still alive. There he is. A little. Okay. Right, that's that's uh, what is it? It's Frodo with the thing that you're not, not getting involved in the one. That's what I would do. Shit. I got the thing that makes me invisible. Sorry. Uh, okay. This is yeah, this is distribution. Anything that looks like this is distribution, right? Something in front of the difference or addition of things, that's distribution. Uh, and again, like I said the other day, you can write this out, a squared b times 2a minus a squared b times 3ab squared. See, So I, I didn't actually, I just took that and put it on each of those, because that's what distribution says I have to do. And then I can focus on what the hell those become. So a lot of, sometimes you're trying to do too much at once because you think you're supposed to for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, so two, two times a, one is two. A, a three, three, good. B. B. Poor little B dude's got nobody to go with. Minus uh, three. Three. A three, B three. Yeah, A squared A is A cubed. B, B squared is B cubed. Oh, cubed, sorry. I have that. And for some reason, people do that beautifully, and then they go one more step. Oh, man. Almost. This has got... 3a's and 1b. This has got 3a's and 3b's. They're not, the same. they're not the same. They're not like terms. They are not like terms. I can't go any further. Eight thirty. Okay. We can't all. This one. I know we can't. We're not going to. <laughs> all right. So this is a plus in the middle. It's beautiful. Uh, Please dear God, I say that for two reasons. One is, I don't have to change any signs. Two, I give people this problem and they start to distribute stuff. No. Oh my God. It's a lot more work than I wanted you to do. This is just addition. So what's 7 8 4 is plus 4 8 4? 11 8 4 4. And again, if you want to, you can make like this underline and then you find 8 cubes and you underline it like that. If you want to, or you can rewrite it or you can none of it. I like it. You can rewrite it and line up your like terms. Kick ass. Minus uh, four. Negative three minus one. Uh, minus four. Eight three. Uh, I like it. Plus a. Yeah, these poor little dudes have nobody to go with. Okay. My, uh, minus eight three. Yeah. And why is this a little more correct? Because it's kind of convention to make it descending order of powers. If you put a first, it's not wrong. It's just convention to put a descending powers. All right, how are we doing so far? Is that cool? Good. So number six, of course, you knew this was going to happen. So what do you have to do? Uh, uh, opposite of this. Yeah. So this one has a one out front, so none of it changes, right? So I can just take the parentheses away. Yeah, we add the opposite of that second. Minus negative four x squared is? Plus. Plus four x squared. Four x squared. Minus negative five x cubed is? Plus five x cubed. Minus, Minus eight x. So distribute that negative, and now we just combine all the terms. So x squares, seven, seven x squared, seven x squared, five six x three minus fifteen x minus fifteen x. Oh, and if you want to, you could put it in descending order. Mm -hmm. Either one of those is fine. That's the same thing, just descending order there. Yeah, because. What do you mean? Oh, uh, put the highest power first, oh, yeah, and then the lower, and then you descend the powers. Yeah. All right, so one little new thing, and then I'll let you guys out. The bonus. Wait, can we just bonus? Oh, the bonus, that's right. Yeah, here's the... All right, let me rewrite the bonus here. <laughs> I guess I'll let you guys out. Whoa. So the thing, the part of this that I don't worry about at all yet, 
is the square, because that's the last thing in our operations. So because everything else is in parentheses. It all becomes first. Now, a colleague of mine teaches you bring a square in first, and I just, I personally, I just, I don't see the point of that. I want to reduce the amount of shit that I got to square. I mean, that only makes sense to me. Plus, it's so easy to make negative mistakes, so it's beautiful that I have a property that lets me get rid of all the negatives. Any negative power wants to do what? Flip. Go to flip. flip. So these five A's want to go up there. These three B's want to go down there. Are you guys with me so far? Yeah. So do this for yourself. When I show people this, they start flipping everything. Does the 16 want to go in there? No. No, it's understood to a power of one. One. It's not negative power. It's fine where it is. Yes, ma'am. So do you literally put the three at the bottom and the five at the bottom? I'll show you. I'll show you. And then these kind of switch places, right? That goes down and that goes up. They're both negative powers. Uh -huh. So I still have a square on the outside. 4 over 16, let's do that. What's that? 1 over, one over, one over four. 4. I add two A's up here and I've got five more A's coming. Oh. Oh. Ah, that's that's all that happens. Okay. That's all that happens. Uh, I, on the bottom I had six B's and then I got three more B's coming. And the C's, on the top I have one C, and on the bottom I have five C's. Bless you. Everything that's not circled up there stays where it is. The four over 16 is one four. That should be cool, right? That's fine. That's reducing a fraction. <laughs> Those two A's are still there, right? Those five A's came up because there's no negative power. Why is it in a ne negative power anymore? Because it already did its job. It's not, if it was still negative, it's like, I'm not, oh, holy shit, when do I stop? Mm -hmm. So if it's negative on the bottom, it's positive on the top and vice versa. Yes, sir. Why? All right, watch. What do you do when you divide? What do you do with powers? When you divide, what do you do with powers? Subtract, Subtract them. Subtract. What is two minus negative 5. Isn't that what that would be? 8 to the 2. Seven. It becomes 2 plus 5, right? Plus five. So what's another way to do that? I just bring this up and make it a positive 5. Okay, that makes sense. I like it. Of course, you could also reference the notes from when we discovered what a negative power means. It means flip. But this is a really nice way to look at it, too. The math works either way. The math doesn't care what we do with it. So I'm going to make it positive, so I don't make a negative mistake. All right, let me stop this. Everybody's sort of, and again, this is bonus for right now. Uh, in your future, this will become non-bonus. Right now, this is sort of bonus. But all I did, 4 over 16 and 1 4, and everything with negative power went to the other side. That's all I did. And now look how nice this is. How many A's do I have on the top now? Seven. Seven. Nice. How many B's do I have on the bottom? Nine. Nine. What happens to the C's? How many C's cancel? One. One. How many left? Four. Four. Where? On the bottom. bottom. Like, I don't have to mess. What is 1 minus 5? Negative 4. Negative 4, and then they would flip. Well, screw all that crap. I don't use negative powers, really. Uh, 1 cancels, 4 left on the bottom. I don't need a negative 4 power. I'm just going to put it down there to begin with. And I still have the square out here, right? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. 87 squared is? 49. Uh-oh. 14. 14. Do I have a 7 in here anywhere? Uh, Do I have a 7 in here anywhere? I love this question. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't. And you're all like, what's that, Jeff? Come That's on, man. You're supposed eight, to know math. It's, <laughs> it's A seven times. Exactly. I don't have any 7s in there. I have 7 A's. Do you see the difference there? I know it, it sounds like it's semantic, but it isn't. There is no 7. There are 7 A's. So that's why I shouldn't expect a 49 to come out of that. So when I, I have two groups of, eight, of 7 A's, 14 A's, 4 squared, 16. 16. B9 uh, squared. 18. 18. 18. Uh, C8. C8. I like it. I forgot that part. <laughs> All right. So we'll pick up with that tomorrow. We'll do some new stuff tomorrow. No quiz. No quiz. No quiz. No quiz. No quiz tomorrow. Thank you. My little early spring break okay. present to you. Less stuff for me to grade or whatever. No. What time did you come? Oh, I just probably turned off. Didn't it? No, it's good. All right.